This is 1C part 1 where we're continuing to look at the booking form and we're now going to have a look at the validation rule that is required. If we look at the question, it says a reminder letter can only be sent if a phone call reminder has already been made. That means that if the phone call reminder has not been ticked, then we cannot tick a reminder letter. So we need to create a validation rule for that. So what we're going to do is select the properties for the reminder letter. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to go to the data tab and have a look at a validation rule. So we're going to say that if the phone call reminder is ticked, this can be ticked. So it can be equal to the same as phone call reminder. Now that's all very well and good, but if we haven't had a phone call reminder, then this can also be false. Okay, so we can say that it can be the same as a phone call reminder if it's been ticked, or if a phone call reminder has been ticked, we may not want to tick this, so therefore it may be false. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put an error message in as well. So we're going to say um, phone call reminder must be made before reminder letter is sent. And what we'll do is we'll test this works. When we test this works, we need to remember to put our data back to what it was. So remember these two are blank. So if I try and click on reminder letter now, it should tell me that I can't do it. And it does. Phone call reminder must be made before reminder letter is sent. Brilliant. I'm going to tick this right, and make sure that I can still tick this. I can, that's good, and that I can untick it. And I can because I said it can be the same as phone call reminder or it can be false. So that's the validation. All you've got left now to do is the calculation in the next tutorial.